All right. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakan Kodash. Double honor to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, taught us his truth. And salutations to the hopeful elect that's around the four corners of the globe. I'm the brother Iowa Lumia from the gym at Chicago branch. Here in Chicago, come back at you with another lesson. And Lord willing, I hope it be at a fine. You know, I'm just basing the title of this lesson. It's nothing that these nations can do about the great awakening of Israel, uh, the great uh, awakening of Israel. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. There's nothing that these these elites, that these other nations can do about you know the great awakening that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is sending in the midst of his people. The Lord is waking up, you know, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And there's nothing that these people can do about it. So this is the book of Psalms 83. And I'm gonna start at one. It says, Keep not thou silence, O power, hold not thy peace, and be not still, O power. It says, for lo, thy enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. Right, because what? You have a lot of these heathen nations that came together to subdue our people. No. It says, they have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. Who are the hidden ones? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You know? You are the hidden ones. They said, come, let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. And right, this is what they're trying to do to this day. They're sp they spend billions of dollars to keep our people in a deep sleep, you know? To, you know, they spend billions of dollars to keep the last, you know, to the forefront. It says, um, for they have consulted, it says, for they have consulted together with one consent, they are confederate against thee, the tabernacles of Edom, the Ishmaelites of Moab, and the Hagarines. It says, Gabal and Ammon, and Amalek the Philistines with the inhabitants of Tyre. Right, so these are all the different nations. Esau, Edom, which is a simple plain white man. You know, um, you have uh, you have Moab and uh, Ammon, the Chinese and the Japanese, the Ishmaelites, which are the so-called Arabs, you know, the Hamites, which are the Africans. All these nations came together, you know, to basically, you know, um, you know, to basically leave, you know, to basically, basically make sure our people was in that deep sleep. Make sure our people don't come out of that deep sleep. You know, they're trying to make sure that you Israelites, you know, remain in that deep sleep so you don't know who you are. Because if you know who you are, you know, you'll get more connected with your how about shit, you shout, you know, with our power. And they know it'd be the end of them, you know. But ultimately, you know, they can't stop this great awakening that's happening, you know. You know, I'm just reading these few scriptures, you know, just, you know, um, just to basically show that these nations are trying to keep you Israelites sleep. Let's get Jeremiah 17 to 4 real quick. <laughs> uh, Jeremiah 17 to 4. <laughs> this is the book of Jeremiah 17 to 4. It says, And thou even thyself shalt discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thy enemies in the land which thou knowest not, for ye have kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever. Right. Right. We shall discontinue from our heritage. How did the Lord ultimately do that to us? You know, by bringing up, our, you know, bringing the enemies up against us, you know, by giving us these different proverbs and bad words. African-American, Mexican-American, Central American, Puerto Rican, Dominican, Haitian, you know, these are different proverbs and bad words that our enemies gave us. And ultimately, why? Because what? We pissed off Yahweh by Shimei Oshai. But now that we're in the end of the end of this uh, this society, the Lord is bringing, the Lord is waking up his people, starting with the elect. Let's, <coughs> let's go back to it. It's a lucky also, brother, a little bit under the weather. Now that we have established, you know, that these different nations, you know, are used to keep our people asleep. Let's get Revelations 11 and 11. Or, <coughs> yeah, Revelations 11 and 11. It says, and after three days and they have, the spirit of life from Yahweh entered into them, and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. Right. Let's break that first half down. It says, and after three days and they have, that's roughly 350 years. You know, like around the 1960s, around the 1970s, where, you know, started with Abba Bivens, where our people started to stand up, you know, and to come to remembrance of who they are. 
you know? And then you had our elders and our apostles. They had their elders and apostles teach them. Then our elders and our apostles, you know, taught us, you know? And it says, um, and the spirit of life for me, how will enter into them, right? Yeah, how about Shimei Al Shai, you know, you know, gave, you know, starting with, you know, Abba Bibbins on down, gave us this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. And it says, and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. And who was in fear? You know, starting with these elites, you know, these different nations. Because what? They were afraid that our people are starting to wake up to finally realize who they are. You know? This is what these other nations are afraid of. You know? But let's continue. It's nothing that these different nations can do. You know? They're seeing the mass awakening of the Israelites. This is the book of Baruch 2 and 30. It says, for I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff-necked people, but in the land of their captivities, which we're currently in right now, you know, the land of our captivity, you know, over here in America, you know, in different places where we were scattered abroad also. It says, but mainly here in America, because it is a stiff-necked people, and Israel is a stiff-necked people, but in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. And what are we, and what, what are we going to remember? Our nationality. Knowing that we're Israelites, knowing that we come from the tribe of Judah, knowing that we come from the tribe of Issachar, knowing that we come from the tribe of Naphtali, knowing that we come from the tribe of uh, Manasseh, Ephraim, Simeon, diff these different tribes. You know, basically, you know, knowing who our power is, you know, and we remember our, ourselves in these last days. What I read back, you know, what I read back in the Revelations, the 11th chapter, you know, in 350, uh, Three and, uh, and a half days, you know, they shall stand upon their feet, you know, loosely paraphrasing what I just read back in Revelations 11, you know, you know, we're, the Lord is waking up his people, starting with the elect, you know, this is all a part of the Lord's program, you know, it's nothing that these nations can do about it, you know, we've been at the bottom for so long, but yeah, how about you, Shah, you know, it's making the, uh, the Lord is putting that truth back into the earth, into the earth, you know, Verse 31, it says, and shall know that I am the Lord, their power, for I will give them in heart and ears to hear, meaning understanding. The Lord is going to give us that understanding. It says, um, verse 32, it says, and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name, which is Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. You know, this was also, this was also being brought back into remembrance, the name of the Lord, you know, that we have forgotten for so long. But what I've been... You know, bring it back up, Revelation 11 11. The Lord has given us that understanding again, you know, in the face of all these heathen nations. Uh, yeah, that was pretty much the point that I wanted to get. <laughs> this is the book of Zephaniah 3 and 9. It says, For then will I turn to the people a pure language that they make. Uh, all call upon the name of the Lord to serve him with one consent. Yeah, for I will turn to the people a pure language, which is the, what? The Hebrew? That they may call, may all call upon the name of the Lord. Right. Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai. That's what Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai is bringing back to remembrance to the Israelites. You know, his name. You know? And these nations are afraid that we're being reconnected with our power. You know? And there's nothing they can do about it. You know, because if you read Judah 5 and 20, you know, they try to do these different men of things to make us go off, you know, to keep us asleep, different things like that. But it's all going to come to naught. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, that was pretty much the point. I should have read this actually before. But uh, I'm a, I'm a, yeah, I'm gonna read it. This is the book of Lamentations 2 and 15. It says, All that pass by clap their hands at thee, they hiss and wag their head at the daughters of Jerusalem, saying, Is this the city that men call the perfection of beauty, the joy of the whole earth? And right, that's just what these other nations are saying about us, since you know we're in our lower state right now. You know? <laughs> us not knowing who we are, different things like that. And these other nations are excited. 
It says, and all thy enemies have opened their mouth against thee. They hit, uh, they hiss and they gnash the teeth. But they say, we have swallowed her up. Certainly, this is the day that we look for. We have found. We have seen it. Right. These other nations think they, you know, think they got the number up on our people for right now and for good. But that's not going to be the case for much longer. Yeah, how about Shimei is putting the spirit back on our people, starting with the elect, you know, to know who they are, to stand upon their feet and to declare this truth. You know, yeah, how about Shimei is bringing it, this truth back into the earth? So with that being said, I hope it was edifying. And I'll begin by giving all praise on the glory to you. How about Shimmy Awashai by Shimra Kakodash? And until next time, Wah Ababa Ball.